what's up what it do welcome back to another day of 12 days of christmas so as you can tell by the title today we are going to be doing an 100 percent black owned little self-care routine the main purpose of this video is really for me to just show you guys some really amazing black owned products specifically in the self-care category so i am going to be taking a bath today but i like to take a shower before i take a bath because i don't like sitting in my own dirt so i've already taken a shower and i'm just going to kind of talk through the products that i use and i also already did my hair so let's just jump right into it because i have a lot of products to share and then after i explain what i've already done um then we will get into the bath and i'm also going to show you guys some like aftercare products as well first things first i do have me some glow water as i like to call it it is cucumber lemon and citrus sometimes i use um an orange sometimes i use grapefruit and y'all already know i've been loving the melanin hair care african black soap reviving shampoo so i just went ahead and clarified my hair with this first literally my favorite shampoo at the moment like gets my hair clean doesn't cause tangles smells really good feels really good then i followed up with the agua beauty bail mint deep conditioner again another black owned favorite of mine and a luxury ish kind of brand that's in sephora it's also extremely thick extremely moisturizing um so i use that after i clarified my hair and then i detangled my hair with another black owned product actually this is the felicia leatherwood brush with the best brush i just actually used and showed these hair products in my most recent 10 month update video but if you in case you guys didn't see that one um this is my favorite detangling brush it's small it's easy for me to use on my short hair um it also moves so it is easily able to go through the curls without causing damage without causing like extra tangles because some brushes can do that this one is actually the smallest size they do have larger ones if you have longer hair but yeah i just went ahead and detangled my hair with this with the deep conditioner in it then i threw on a plastic cap to let that sit while I did my shower routine. So the black owned body soap that I use is the Ela Ela. I don't know, I, I probably said that wrong. Y'all know I'll be saying stuff wrong all the time. I think it's Ela L actually. The glowing body wash, it has turmeric and carrot in it. It's handmade. Um, it's also from a smaller black owned business so definitely check them out if you haven't this body wash is amazing it has a great lather it smells really good it kind of smells does it have fragrance in it it doesn't have added fragrance so the smell that you that you can smell from it is actually like 100 natural and it smells very earthy and herbal it's really good for dark spots acne or discoloration on the skin i'm absolutely obsessed and it's 100 natural 100 handmade and vegan and cruelty free definitely check out this brand i also followed up actually with another product from this brand i really don't know how to pronounce it i'm so sorry but i followed up with this body scrub and you guys it smells so good y'all know i love me some eucalyptus and it has a very strong eucalyptus scent also kind of minty it has a almost like a vapor rub type of smell so it's perfect for the winter if you're feeling kind of stuffy and you just want something that's gonna open you up and decongest you i love the way it smells this scrub is a little bit more abrasive um it's more on the abrasive side if you have more sensitive skin i wouldn't recommend it because it does have a lot of essential oils and the granules are kind of thick but if you have normal skin or if you need a stronger exfoliation girl you will love this and again 100 percent black owned vegan cruelty free handmade then y'all already know i had to use my honey pot normal foaming wash i don't know how many times y'all need to hear me say it if you've been following me for a while you've been watching my videos and you keep hearing me talk about it and you haven't tried it yet why <laughs> and of course they also have a sensitive version i use the normal one because my down there area isn't really that sensitive but if you are you can try the sensitive one and they also have a mommy to be one 100 percent natural ph balanced cruelty free sulfate free really good for just staying fresh down there that was pretty much it for my in shower routine once i hopped out the shower i just threw on my new la beautyologist shout out to my girl 
okay i'm loving this set um she just came out with some new like shower apparel and so i had to get my hands on it and it literally just came in the mail today so it was perfect because it's black owned of course i got the set that actually comes with this really cute bath turban and it has the la beautyologist logo right here and it also came with this head scarf that um I'll show you guys I put on after I put all my hair products in. And it also comes with this cute little bow with the LA Beautyologist logo on it too. So um, y'all know I love me some bath accessories so I had to grab it. So cute. This little towel is perfect because it like tightens so you don't have to worry about your towel like moving while you're doing the rest of your self care and everything. Or just for a regular day when you're getting out the shower it's really comfortable. Um, and also this might sound weird but it smelled really good when I got it. <laughs> I don't know what's in uh, LA Beauty's house, but girl. <laughs> so usually when I get out the shower, I go right into my after body care stuff, but I decided not to because I wanted to take a bath. So my skin is literally getting dry as we speak, but I did go ahead and put in my hair products. So um, I rinsed out my hair mask in the sink because I realized that I didn't rinse it out in the shower, which I should have. I didn't rinse out the hair mask. But. I rinsed it out in the sink and then I just followed up with my moisturizing hair routine so I didn't really put any products to necessarily define my curls but just to hydrate and moisturize and also to soothe my scalp. So I first went in with my um, my Soinage. I know I'm saying that wrong. Um, another black owned handmade product. I am obsessed with this product. It's their protein leave-in. I just put it on my hair straight out the shower on dripping wet hair. And um, it really does help to strengthen the hair, helps with elasticity. Even though it's a protein leave-in, it also is very moisturizing. It gives my hair a lot of slip. And so I put that on my hair first. Um, and then I followed up with my Imania Beauty High Maintenance Hair Elixir. You guys know I've been using this hair oil on my scalp to help with growth, but it's also just really good for maintaining healthy scalp in general. So I applied this to my scalp and this is technically my LOC method. So I use my leave-in first, my oil next. Um, like I said, I did put it on my scalp, but I also put it down the limbs of my hair a little bit as well. Another black owned business that you should definitely support um, she just launched not too long ago. She's a fellow YouTuber, a fellow influencer, so definitely check this out if you haven't. It's a little on the pricier side, but that's because it has some very, very, very unique ingredients in it. It has um, CBD oil, which is not cheap in general. And it also has a lot of added herbs that are very hard to get. And she literally soaks them in the sun herself, so you know it's made with love. Then after my L, which is my leave-in, my O, which is my oil, and now for my cream, I typically have been using my herbal hair butter that I made myself, but I had an idea to try this instead. This is a shea butter by my girl Naturally Philo, another fellow black influencer. She went to Ghana um, a few months ago and while she was there, she went to go see some Ghanaian women make shea butter from scratch and she just decided to buy it and sell it to us here in the States. So. I had to snag some and I actually had been using this on my skin but I was like why not use it as my sealant on my hair and so I grabbed this like the last time I did my hair routine like this and I tried it and you guys my hair stayed moisturized for like five days and it's just literally a hundred percent shea butter unrefined um of course you can always mix oils or do anything you want with it to enhance it but it's also really good in its regular form as long as you put in a leave-in conditioner or an oil on your hair first to give the moisture and then use this as your sealant because shea butter is not really a moisturizer it's more like a sealant it's going to help to trap in the moisture so um, because i had very high porosity hair i love to use butters on my hair to seal and everything and this has been really great she also sells apparel with the same ken logo on it so definitely check her business out too if you haven't and then after i did all that i just put on my turban which i have on now the little la beautyologist logo here too and i just put this on to help soak in the extra moisture in my hair so now i'm pretty much ready to hop into the bath i'm about to run the water right now oh i also forgot to mention i am burning a black owned candle this is a candle from harlem candle co someone had actually recommended this to me when i did my very first forever mood review and i've literally been hooked on it ever since i have a couple different scents but this is my favorite one it's the um, home scent it basically has bergamot and green tea those are the two top notes and i don't know if you guys can tell 
you probably can't see in the camera but it's burned like all the way down here because I've been burning it so often it smells amazing um, it feels very like Lux almost the brand itself definitely check out this black owned candle business as well I'll put the link down below it literally smells so good y'all know I always have to burn a candle when I do my self care all right so I am about to cleanse my face I'm gonna use the myth magic um, healing moon water I used this a few days ago in my self-care playlist video the good cleanser it's not like stripping on the skin oh I almost forgot I actually also have my new little um, 60 second timer from LA Beautyologist if you guys don't know her 60 second rule is that you should be cleansing your face for a full 60 seconds to get the full benefits of your cleanse and she just came out with these really cute new hourglasses and when you turn it of course it'll start 60 seconds so i'll know once it's done that i can stop cleansing and i just thought it was so cute just like a really unique um thing to sell especially because it's so on brand i usually sing a song like itty bitty piggy or <laughs> i sing um the abcs or something to know that i'm cleansing for a full 60 seconds but now i have this timer and it makes it super easy to make sure that i'm getting in my full cleanse all right face is clean i'm not gonna dry my face all the way though because you apply this face mask on um damp skin but i'm gonna use another favorite you guys have seen me use this so many times on my channel this is the bolden glow hydrating mask and i'm just going to apply this with my little facial brush i got this from dermalogica in a pr package but of course you can use any brush or you can use your hands but if you have dry skin or even if you have normal skin and your skin just needs like an extra boost of hydration you should definitely check out this i've gone through like four of them i discovered it um actually when all that black lives matter stuff was going on earlier this year i use it multiple times a week like i use it maybe three or four times a week and it's gentle enough to use under the eye area too okay so i have my water running I'm actually gonna go ahead and put in this little bubble bath. It's from Ruled by Mercury Co., which is a brand by my girl Elizabeth. You can follow on Instagram. I'm gonna put the link down below. Excuse my nails, y'all. I gotta get my nails done, but <laughs> this is basically gonna um, give me some bubbles in the bath. You just run it over and it'll start breaking up. I believe it also has some oils and some butters to help with moisture. I also have my infamous bath tray here. You guys are always asking me about this tray and I get it on Amazon. I also love this because it's adjustable so you can make it longer or shorter depending on how wide your bath is. Push it back a little bit. Boom. Then I'm also gonna add these bath salts. It's by another black owned brand, of course, called Moonbeam Body Therapy. This is the Phases one and it's eucalyptus mint, of course. Y'all know I love eucalyptus. I really love that it has like these little um, dried flowers in it. So it also adds a little aesthetic to the bath. It also smells, it smells so freaking good. So definitely check out this brand as well like i said it's called moonbeam body therapy i'm gonna add this to the bed i'm sure that most of you guys also follow only one jess on here on instagram she also lives in the south florida area and she put me on to this place called world famous but they make like all types of egg rolls this is what i ordered <laughs> i don't think this is what i ordered whatever it's still gonna be good this place also has these really good strawberry lemonades so i'm gonna go ahead and put this down here on my little tray for when my food i'll put my sauce down too so yeah either they messed up my order or i ordered the wrong thing but i actually meant to get so this is their all seafood egg roll so it has shrimp crab and lobster so i meant to get that one but i thought i got the buffalo chicken one too because you can mix and match the egg rolls but i think i accidentally picked the burger one but needless to say it's still gonna be good i'm gonna actually eat this while i'm in my bath i usually don't eat in the bath but i'm starving and figured might as well i'm also gonna put my phone here so I can watch Netflix. Like I said, I usually never eat when I'm in the bath, but it's just 
it worked out so well. So I had watched Grey's Anatomy um, all the way through back in like 2016. I watched literally, I binge watched it for months. And my friend Jada just started watching it for the first time and now I just have really been feeling the urge to rewatch it. So I started rewatching it probably like a few days ago and I'm already on season four. So that is what I'm about to watch right now, girl. I be careful so I don't drop my phone. And I'm gonna catch up with y'all after I finish. All right guys, I am out of the bath. Because the little bubble bath that I had had some oils in it, my skin feels like really soft and silky. So sometimes I do put on a body oil, but because I already have like a body oil layer on, I'm not going to. So I'm just going to seal everything in with this body souffle. It's by a brand called Souvenir Bath and Body. You guys have probably seen me talk about this brand on my channel previously. This is one of her newer um, body butter scents. Also, of course, black owned, vegan, cruelty free. And as you can see, it's a pretty thick butter, so it's perfect for the winter time. And I love this scent. This is Self Love Brewing, and it has white tea, jasmine. It smells so good. And these body butters are so, oh my God, they're so moisturizing. I believe they have three different butters. I think shea butter, cocoa butter, and mango butter. Y'all see the glow? Y'all see the glow? Oh, I still have on my face mask because I like to um, do my body care first so that when I go to touch my face again, I don't get body care products on my face. I really want to see more small black owned businesses, um, like get the funds that they need to really promote and get their products out there because I feel like that's really a big major lack in black businesses. They just don't have the money for marketing. So I'm definitely going to try to do my best moving forward in 2021 to show more smaller black owned businesses along with all the big brand deals and things that i'll probably be having all right so i have that all over my skin feels amazing another really unique black owned brand is this brand called naturally london this is actually a foot butter so it's a butter literally dedicated for your feet this brand also sells a foot mask that i purchased I think I bought this during my black owned business haul months ago and I just never got around to using it. But today I'm just gonna use the foot butter. And it's really good. As you can see, I've used quite a bit of it. I really like it. As you guys can see, it's also really thick, which is good for those dry feet, especially in the winter. It also has like a lemon scent, which I like. It's really refreshing. I didn't show it, but earlier I also exfoliated my feet. So just putting this on top my feet literally feel like soap right now and it's totally extra to freaking use a different body butter on your feet you can obviously use the same body butter that you use on your body on your feet but this stuff is bomb and i wanted to share if you guys know of any like really good natural black owned deodorants let me know because as of right now i'm still using my cosas one which is not black owned so <laughs> so last but not least it's time to get into my skincare. So honestly speaking, I don't really have a lot of black owned um, skincare that I like and use. But with skincare, well, facial care, it's a little bit harder to like play around with products because I just have my favorites that I know work. So I'm not gonna show my full skincare routine, but I do wanna share some black owned products that I like. Definitely this Miracle Serum. I'm not even showing the label. This Miracle Serum by Mary Louise Cosmetics. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I stand. Okay, this is really, really good for dark spots, um, her pigmentation on the skin, helping to get rid of texture. I also really like the Canty Liquid Gold Oil. I typically will use this more so, why are you not focused? Come on now. I typically use this more so um, during the day, but this is also a really good black on product. And also by the same brand that I used earlier, the Myth Magic. I really like their oil, their earth oil. I typically will layer this over top of my moisturizer and their ultra moisturizer is really good too but yeah i'm gonna finish up my skincare i promise i'll do a more in-depth skincare video um in early 2020 i'm just still kind of finalizing everything but that's coming soon i promise i'll finish this up and then i'll come back to close out this video okay guys so i just finished doing my skincare my body's feeling good i'm feeling good but i do have one more little self-care plug for you guys so if you guys follow by candace jones or you might know her as diamond candy tv that was her like og um name 
She just started her own brand not too long ago. It's called Everything She Is Co. I 100% stand. I love everything about the brand. And Candace is a fellow black influencer. So definitely check out her social and her brand if you haven't already. But she actually wrote a book and it's called the self-love workbook i do believe pre-orders just ended so you'll have to get on the waiting list to get one at this point but i'll put the link to the website down below so you guys can sign up to know when it's going to be back in stock but if you're someone who is really struggling with self-love self-confidence or even just dealing with things that have happened in your life and trying to process it and learn how to become a better you i definitely recommend checking out this book it's kind of like um well, it's not kind of, it really is a workbook where there's a series of questions. Um, there's pages for you to write down your thoughts and your ideas in. The main purpose of this book is to help heal trauma, release self-doubt, and rediscover your true self. It has a lot of great affirmations. It has a bunch of questions for you to think about to kind of unpack some of the trauma and the things that have happened in your life. I've actually started, I am only on like page five or so. I love everything about the book. I cannot wait to see this in stores. I've literally never seen anything like it before. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comments below what brands you plan on trying or brands that you've tried. Don't forget to go check out today's giveaway as well on my community page. And hopefully I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye.